What is up everybody in YouTube land? It is your friendly neighborhood appliance technician Chris and I'm working on another one of these higher HWD 1600s. Um, you'll find that the hot water valve, which is this, um, I'm changing a water valve in this is what I'm doing. This single solenoid valve right here that would go on your hot side right here, um, this is still available. This has a GE part number. Now, for those of you who don't know, as of uh, 2018, Hire now owns GE. So you'll have a lot of GE part numbers, you'll have a lot of Hire manufactured parts, things like that. And you'll have a lot of screwy stuff that isn't becoming available. Um, there is a retrofit for the uh, what will come up as the NLA cold water valve. Uh, the cold water valve is this Samsung valve right here. It is DC62-00412G. It is this valve. And as you can see, the configuration of the valve is a little bit different than what we've got right here. So I'll show you the work, I'll tell you the workaround to that. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, uh, like for instance, this one that goes down to your um, uh, air duct right here, uh, your lint trap. Uh, this one has black that's attached to it, they're all color coded. So you'll have black, blue, and white or beige as it were and you're just going to hook them up you're going to match hose to solenoid color okay so that's pretty much all you're going to do pick what best work or pick what works best i'm going to finagle these hoses in but i just figured i'd give you guys that tidbit of information and um, i hope that helps some of you guys out there so you can make this valve work it's not for this application but um it's a triple solenoid valve. Triple solenoid valves. A triple solenoid valve is a triple solenoid valve, guys. So if you can find one that'll work, good on you. And uh, we'll get back to you. I'll, I'll get back to you actually when I've got this in and I'll give you a little bit more detail on what I did. Stay with me, guys. All right, guys, here's everything in its final configuration. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of impact with the hot water solenoid and the rest of these uh, over here. So it's not really ideal, and you can see why it's not really made for this application. But uh, what, I remedied that by uh, just putting one screw in this bracket right here, and it seems sturdy enough. Um, you'll see I can effectively, oops, if I can get it, it's hard doing this through a viewfinder, guys. There we go. You see that still threads on. And let's do an experiment now to see if we can tighten it. I can find my pliers somewhere. There they are. Now I don't have the fancy washing machine pliers but these hoses pretty much stay on here and as you can see it tightens well enough uh, it doesn't move enough to worry about these guys don't vibrate too much so that shouldn't be a problem so I'm gonna call this good and remember there's the part number d62 00142G. So this is an option for this NLA no longer available cold water solenoid right here. So hope that helps some of you guys out there. Thanks for watching.